creation of this tool by Jason Hillier has created a huge amount of interest in the Ingersoll uh, cylinder and it's had a lot of people uh, pick something that they haven't been able to pick for quite a long time or if ever and here is a one of the modern um, renditions of the Ingersoll cylinder and when we pop the key in you can see that the tailpiece there rotates with the key and uh, when we get the key out and it comes out in one position which is there have you wondered what exactly is happening inside here because it's referred to as a lever lock in fact there's 10 levers um, have you wondered what actually goes on inside there when you put the key in so here is another lock and what I've done is I've taken the tailpiece off and this ring which is a hardened uh, steel ring probably similar to hard plate but it's a drill protection um, that ring is held on with a large circlip uh, you need a pair of large circlip pliers to be able to get that off but once that's off uh, and then the tail piece is off then the actual workings themselves will fall out of the uh, or come out of that uh, uh, lock body there so let's just pop the key in for this one you can see with the key in it uh, rotates and then if i take the key out obviously it doesn't rotate so there's something in there that's being activated by the key to prevent that from rotating and if i just push that cylinder out what you will see is a black nylon plastic uh, sidebar which engages uh, into this notch here inside the uh, lock body itself and when the uh, lock and the keys out of the lock that little black plastic sidebar stands proud and engages into this slot pretty much like that and prevents the core from rotating uh, and the lock obviously being opened so the sidebar this part here drops down into um, holes or gates in the levers which uh, and there's 10 of them sitting inside here um, but it will only drop down into those when they're all aligned so if I just zoom in on this and if I just pop this pick in here you can see there's a lever here that is rotating round and there's the gate there's another one here with a gate when I pop the key into the lock what you will see is all of those levers will rotate round as the key goes in and then when the keys fully inserted you will then see all of those gates line up down the center there and now when I press on the sidebar you can see the sidebar will now fully depress into the lock and when that's fully depressed into the lock then it's free to spin inside the lock body like so so you can see that can spin around inside there and when you take the key out obviously when you take the key out the levers are no longer aligned and so this actual uh, central part here will only fit in where you've got the groove in the actual lock body itself and it can't be rotated so a very very clever system very clever design you can see here we've got 10 opposing lever springs and these are the actual levers themselves here and they pivot about uh, this pin on the back of the lock here uh, the, there's another pin in the back of the lock there which is uh, holds the uh, sidebar in place and the springs for the sidebar but yes when the key goes in 
you can see each one of these levers will be influenced by the bitting on the key uh, and when the key's fully inserted, the correct key, then obviously all of the gates inside here will be properly aligned and allow the sidebar to drop down. So when we pop the uh, leashy style pick into the lock, let's zoom out again, you can see that we've got five levers or five detents on either side of this and they correspond with the actual five levers inside the lock itself. So if I put myself, say, on position three, you can see that uh, that lever there is rotating when I rotate, when I pick it. And so what we're doing is we're moving that until it aligns itself up with the part of the sidebar that drops inside it, inside of it. Um, and that is what we're actually doing when we're picking. We're aligning one by one each of these gates to allow us to, uh, to have the sidebar drop down. Now, the interesting thing to note here is that on the key, there are only four cuts and uh, a number four cut basically is the deepest cuts that you can see. And on this particular key, we've got one, two, three, four number four cuts and when we pop this tool into the lock where you have a number four cut you can actually see that it's already aligned for the sidebar to drop into it so where there's a number four cut on the key and in this particular instance we've got one two three four uh five uh number four cuts um that means that five of these levers are now actually lined up in the true gates ready for the sidebar to drop in. So therefore, if we can identify where they are while we're picking, then we can leave those alone and only actually align uh, the remaining levers, align the gates on the remaining levers to, uh, to get the lock open. So in this particular lock, uh, with five number four cuts, that only leaves us five levers to align. So although it's a 10 lever lock, actually uh, only five of them are going to need to be picked. So uh, it's useful when you're picking to actually feel or to learn to feel what a, uh, a number four cut feels like and how to identify them inside the lock. So I'm applying a little bit of uh, uh, pressure there on the, on the sidebar and you can see that the number four cut, um, you can push past it but actually you can feel the fence of the lever rubbing all the way up to a number one. There's been no click, there's been no jump into a gate because the gate was actually already aligned when it was on that number four position. Uh, and then if we take a different uh, cut, let's take this one here, for example, the number three, if I push that up, that's aligned up and then we then get that bounce when that's actually set, the gate is actually uh, in the correct place. Same with that one there and so forth. So that one there, if I'm pushing down in there, I'm getting no movement. And so that's obviously a number four cut. Uh, so yeah, very clever design for the tool because it, each of these cutouts on the tool here aligns perfectly with each of the levers uh, inside the lock body there. So yeah, excellent tool. So when we're picking, all we're doing is rotating these levers so that they align uh, with the sidebar and allow this uh, uh, core or barrel to rotate.